Also, a past officers came back to haunt President Uhuru Kenyatta's envoy nominees as they appeared before the National Assembly's Defense and Foreign Relations Committee for vetting extrajudicial killings, unresolved murders, and forced disappearances put former Director of Criminal Investigations Ndegwa Muhoro on the spot, while former Salaries and Remuneration uh, Commission Chair Sarah Serem found herself on the wrong side of MPs over the legislators' pay cuts. For a man who has been at the helm of the country's criminal investigation department for eight years, Ndegwa Muhoro's tenure came back to him. This concerns uh, extrajudicial killings or executions. During your tenure also, there was excessive use of force, enforced disappearances, any matter that was reported of disappearance, any matter that was reported of killing, we opened inquest files. There are a lot of unresolved murders in your time. Uh, Musando was killed during your tenure. Juma was killed in, uh, during your tenure. It is about the evidence that you have. It's not about intelligence. You may have intelligence you need to convert it to, which is not an easy thing. His appointment as an envoy to Malaysia is being contested in a petition by lawyer Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, who accuses Moro of being corrupt and plotting to kill him. He has not even given a witness statement to show why he thinks what he's saying is the truth. So, Chair, I think this is a matter I see like as a person of vendetta. Sarah Serem, who was the chair of the SRC when the commission reviewed MPs' salaries, had some explaining to do. I don't know why you really try to use the salaries of the members of parliament more than any other public servant in this country. I know that the members of parliament has looked at it as skewed, but for information, this cut across the entire state officers. If perhaps that has not been interesting to some um, areas, uh, maybe I'll take this point to say I am sorry for that, but it meant right for Kenya. It meant right for each one of us. The former SRC chair, who is the ambassadorial nominee to China, also faced questions about her personality. It looks like you might not fit that, uh, that bill very well because you are a very aggressive person. The chair of SRC is totally different from the Sarah Serem you see today. Questions of her personality also faced former Air Force Commander Samuel Doiter, the ambassadorial nominee to Israel. You are a commander per se. How are you going to change yourself so that you become diplomatic? Uh, I believe I'm capable of fitting um, as a diplomat. But since we send our troops to Somalia, we have had major attacks. Is it no time uh, we reconsidered our position in our presence in Somalia? There's a lot that would have gone wrong if we were not in Somalia. Former State House spokesperson Manoa Sipisu, who has been nominated as the United Kingdom envoy, had to explain why President Uhuru Kenyatta unfollowed his deputy William Tito on Twitter. And at the helm of peace building, you know, when we had uh, the handshake between Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta, the president of the Republic of Kenya, I mean, how do you answer the deputy president? Simple answer, it was a mistake both the deputy president and the president are aware. Now, I notice you've given, our first referee you've given us the head of state. How do you, are you being fair to us? How will we be able to follow up on that reference? Uh, and I'm sure if you needed the chair, I would be able to reach him. The committee will on Friday vet those nominated as envoys to Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Juba, and Namibia. Rita Tinina, KTN News.